Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's been a while. Um, I took a little bit of time off, man. Um, when I got back from Poland, um, the plane ride messed me up pretty good, man. My back was all messed up. And I just hurt all over. And then after that, I ended up getting COVID, and that was no fun either. So <laughs> I've had like a whole month of just straight misery. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a little bit better now, so I figure we'll... Uh, jump into it and uh start making some more videos um it's a uh, new leak season uh, chronicles is coming i am so far from what i've seen from the art and stuff it looks like it's gonna be really fun i could see um some different some different stuff coming um i don't know there was a couple pictures that were teased with just like locations but I think there's going to be something different than locations. I think they're going to add something. I think they know that um, they need to add something to spice it up. So I think something really, really different is coming with this uh, expansion. Even though we're only getting 24 cards, um, I could see I could see something that's going to really, really shake the game up coming. Um, so get ready for it. Um, we got the four. Uh, Northern Realms cards. A uh, couple old friends, too, from uh, way, way back in the day. If you guys are uh, some beta friends, they've, they've been gone for a while, but they've, they're making a comeback. Uh, we'll go over the uh, the big boys first, and then the uh, the two old friends that have returned. Uh, kind of like me. So, they come back, and I come back. <laughs> uh, but let's check this out. Uh, first card, I'm, I really like this card. Uh, Boholt. So he's two strength, one armor, twelve provisions. So he's a he he's a hefty price. Um, they're bringing back the Reaver Hunters um, archetype, which is really great. Um, he's a human soldier formation, so you could play him back row, and he can grab an extra strength to keep him out of uh, coup range, because <laughs> uh, that, that might get ugly real fast. Um, order spawn a base copy of an allied bronze soldier on this row whenever you spawn a soldier boost self by two so you look at the uh, so you look at soldiers in in northern realms of course you're all, always going to think commandos but i think that's going to get too congested but i mean like you've got you got some nice tutors here with John Natalis into something. Um, you, I'm sure there's going to be something with full test that's going to come about. Um, you can keep it boosted with Eggman. I don't know if that's a possibility. Voimir probably is going to be in that deck as well. You're going to boost them up. I could see something coming out with Sentry and Guards. Because you, you're boosting that by three and then you're getting two out of the... Uh, the Boholt, I'm sure uh, it's it's gonna be. I'm, I'm, of course, you're gonna run Defender. I mean, uh, Nerves got not gonna be happy about it, but it's it's gonna be a thing, I'm sure. Um, you know, also two blue stripes. You know, you can spawn some other things. That's also too. We don't know what what type of changes are gonna come about. Uh, PFI could be a thing with Draug. Maybe you could be spawning uh, two soldiers. Um. So then it would boost itself by four. Um, get a draw grow really quick. And then start pinging away. Uh, Scythemen. Things are going to be boosted. So the Scythemen are going to have a, a nice uh, shot at the, a boosty row. Um, your leaders. I mean. What deck would you go with this? I guess you would you could go with uh, Inspired Zeal because they have order. You want to get the uh, order to pop off quick. Um, stockpile seems a little too slow, but it might be a thing. I don't know. Um, you also got Uprising to maybe boost them up a little bit. Um, you only have three charges now, though, so it might not be worth it. Uh, shield Wall, I'm sure that'll... Uh, have a thing and then i mean royal inspiration too it's uh it's got that grace ability i've not really messed with that so i'm not real sure on how how that will come into play but i'm sure that for sure inspired zeal and uh 
shield wall will probably uh, see some tinkering for sure. But we also, too, got those new cards. So, have to wait and see. But I, it, I'm not showing any of those guys in the soldier tag. They're knights, aren't they? Yeah, all those guys are knights. Yeah, these are all knights, so that's not going to work. So... It's going to be a completely different animal, but a really cool card. Um, I think it's great to have a different type of flood besides machines and uh, commandos for Northern Realms. Uh, next card, Kennet and Gar. These guys look like... Uh, oh, so this is some triptych art because the other card was um, the back of the horse. So that, Well, I guess it may be not a triptych, but it's a dual card so you could set them up next to each other. So this one's a six for nine. Nice. Uh, human soldier formation. So you can play it back row to hit seven. Gets it out of that, uh, you know, ping range with a five damage or something. Uh, destroy an enemy unit with two or less power. Whenever you spawn a soldier, increase the limit by one. So this is kind of like, um, what's his name for Skellige? A little, kind of. Um, Arnachad kind of but it's an increasing value i really like this card a lot I, I one of the reasons why i never really played northern realms was because they just didn't have any damage it's also too why i didn't really tinker around with the last expansion or well not really expansion but i just didn't like renfrey because i've always been a control friend and i just felt like the the card i don't know i just never really tried it so it uh it just, I, I've always been like Matic, you know, type decks and not having any type of specials in the deck just really turned me off. I was just like, ah. I mean, I know they have damages in those uh, options, but it just felt really weird to me for my play choice. But um, this card seems really, really good. Um, it's a yoink target though for enslave which is concerning but once again if you're playing i think if you're playing this you're setting stuff up with orders and shit you're definitely going to be playing defender so you're either going to be teching into defender or the nilf guard friends are going to be adding in uh, you know their purify options as well with uh cupbearer and stuff but uh, i really like this card a lot this one is something that i would enjoy playing i think so uh, GG on this one. Uh, really excited about this one. Uh, next up, familiar friends, um, Reaver Hunters. Um, so they're two for two human soldiers. Order, spawn a base copy of self on this row and set its base power to one less than self. Uh, so they do have armor, so... I don't know what happens after you spawn two of them if they can continue to be just ones or if they just die or if the armor blocks it i would imagine that uh it probably locks itself out right that's how um the cell feeders are for monsters they can't uh copy once they're at one unless they grow so it probably locks themselves out but then they have a bonded ability only on melee uh, at the end of your turn damage the highest power enemy unit by one okay so you play one you get another one out there there's four and then they're doing two damage a turn um, and if you could spawn multiple ones with like say a full test since they are soldiers you could start pinging like crazy then you could start setting up you know a lot of really fun stuff there um really cool card once again it, it's it, i think it's going to rely on the uh, defender archetype it, it also too seems like it's one of those win round one type things and you're in big trouble because they're going to go for a heavy bleed so you're going to have to have the weapons to fight that off um erland might actually be okay in this deck because then you can keep making more but that's a lot of provisions you're talking about 12 and 12 with the the bowholt guy so that might get a little bit rough but i do see drow being a thing with this I, I, you got these little ones they're armored which is nice it makes them awkward to kill um 
Keldar could be a thing too with uh, the first card. Um, also too, maybe even Vernon because you're spawning stuff. Just looking at more and more things. Uh, maybe Belhoon. You could bump stuff up to a five. You know, now that I'm looking at uh, some of the cards. It's really interesting. I think it's going to be a... F I just... To me, I've always been, like... Like I said, turned off by Northern Realms. Because they almost seem like you either go with... Machines. Or, you know, these solitary decks where you're spawning, you know, like... Mages and shit. And that's just not my thing. But this one seems like it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit more my style. Uh, and then the last one. I'm curious, too, who this guy is on the... The right hand side of this art um kind of looking like uh arwen strong off of house of the dragon here <laughs> uh but uh, and also too i never really noticed on the reaver hunter or, or reaver scout that there's an actual dragon down there looking below i've just now noticed that um but uh the reaver scout old school friend he was a tutor friend what is he now um so he's a two for one so he's a coup friend order Spawn and play a base copy of an allied bronze soldier, excluding self. So you can't spawn yourself. So actually, you could do this twice um, to thin your deck really well to make sure you're finding your stuff. It's only bronzes. Um, so bronze soldiers. I don't know why it's not typing. There we go. Soldiers. So you're looking at like. Once again, you know, I, I think blue stripes, though, it just seems like that's too congested. Um, Arbalist, stuff like that. Um, I still think it's going to be something with maybe... I guess you can go Dun Banners. But once again, you're just congesting that row with stuff that you want to fill up. Um, I guess you could be setting up uh, Marines to bump something up afterwards. You could be pulling out something like, say, maybe a Siege Support. And give something Zeal. Yeah, it's, to me, it seems like the deck's going to, like, it's going to be focused around, like, um, John Natalis, Draug, Defender, and then some little stuff. Maybe, you know, like, uh, PFIs and stuff like that, going for the little stuff and then damage. I could even see Radovid being in there because uh, getting uh, getting those extra charges could be huge, especially if you're playing Inspired Zeal. I don't know. It seems like it's going to be a fun expansion. I'm uh, I'm really excited to cover the leaks uh, tomorrow. I believe is Nilfgaard, so that's just always a fun celebration there. Um, but uh, if you watch this video, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys very, very much. Um, I'll try, like I said, I'm going to try to get the uh, Nilfgaard one done uh, around the same time tomorrow. And we'll go through them uh, through the weekend. And then uh, we'll try to start making, we'll, we'll start out slow. We'll go like uh, two videos a week once the stuff comes down. And then also, too, I'm going to try to do some Marvel Snap stuff if you guys are still interested. I've been doing pretty good with Marvel Snap, to be, to be fair. I was... Uh, for, for like one day, I was number one on the thing leaderboard, which was pretty cool. <laughs> but um, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for everything. I'll see you guys next time.